If you've ever watched any of my backpacking food, backpacking food recipes, or backpacking gear videos, you've probably seen my silver backpacking food cozy that I use to help rehydrate my dehydrated backpacking food meals. You guys have been asking me for the last couple of years where you can buy one of these and even how you can make your own backpacking food cozy. So finally, I decided to make this video showing you how you can make your own DIY backpacking food cozy. Hey guys, my name is Kathleen, former PCT through hiker, avid Pacific Northwest day hiker, solo long distance backpacker, and the hungry hiker here on YouTube. A DIY backpacking food cozy could be one of the cheapest and most used pieces of backpacking gear you'll have in your hiking and backpacking setup, especially if you do Ziploc freezer bag cooking out on trail. In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can make your very own DIY backpacking food cozy. This is a super easy and cheap DIY project you can do at home to help you prepare for your next outdoor adventure. Adventure. If there's something you're excited about, click the like button and be sure to subscribe for more new videos each week. And this is the place to be to learn about backpacking, get backpacking food ideas, and tips on how to plan your next backpacking trip. I help women all over the country go from feeling scared and intimidated about backpacking to feeling comfortable with planning their own trips so that they can feel confident getting out on trail for their next backpacking adventure through my online program for women, the Confident Solo Female Backpacker System. Click the link in the video description box below to learn more about this program I've put together and learn how I can help you turn your backpacking goals into a reality this year. Okay, let's make a backpacking food cozy. Here are the materials you'll need to make your backpacking food cozy. A large piece of Reflectix foil insulation or a reflective windshield sunshade. If you're using a windshield sunshade, one sunshade can make up to four backpacking food cozies. Velcro, Gorilla Tape. Duct tape would work too, but Gorilla Tape is easier to work with and seems to last longer. A Sharpie, a pair of scissors, and a ruler. To make your backpacking food cozy, start by measuring the reflective material with the backpacking food bag you plan on using in your cozy. Use the edge of the fabric as part of the cozy's top flap. Use one of your backpacking food bags as a guide. Make sure you leave two to three inches from the top where the fabric is and then fold over. This will be the top flap of the cozy. Grab the ruler and measure the length of your backpacking food bag. The bag I'm using as a guide is eight inches in length and I fold it over the top of the bag because when I cook my meal on the trail, this top portion of the bag will be torn off. From the top flap fold, grab the ruler and measure the length of your backpacking food bag and mark the spot with a Sharpie. Use the ruler and measure the length of your backpacking food bag again, marking the second spot with a Sharpie. This will be the material for the back of the cozy. Use the ruler and measure out three inches below the second Sharpie mark. Mark the spot. This will be the material of the bottom of the cozy. The third Sharpie mark will be the main cut point for the length of the cozy. From the top flap fold, you should have three Sharpie marks. Now you'll want to measure the width of your backpacking food bag. The width of the food bag I'm using is about eight inches. On the reflective material, use the ruler and measure out the width of your food bag. From each Sharpie mark on the material, measure out the width of your food bag and then give yourself an extra inch of width. Mark the width with the Sharpie from all three Sharpie marks from when you measured the length of the bag. On one side, draw a line using the ruler going down the length of the reflective material connecting all of the Sharpie marks. You can use the circles on the reflective material as a guide to help keep your line straight. Do this on the opposite side as well. Then, using the ruler, connect the bottom Sharpie marks, the width of the cozy, to each other. Cut out the reflective material using your new Sharpie lines as your guide, and double check to make sure the cozy material fits your backpacking food bag. To make the bottom of the cozy, place your backpacking food bag on the reflective material, making sure that the top of the food bag is sitting just below the folded top flap of the cozy. Mark the bottom of the food bag with the Sharpie. From this new Sharpie mark, measure out one inch moving down, mark the spot, and then measure out another one inch moving down, and then mark the spot. You will have a total of three lines. Using the ruler, line up the ruler to the first bottom Sharpie mark, which is where the bottom of the food bag was, and fold the cozy material up. Use the ruler so that your fold is straight and press the palm of your hand on the reflective material to get a nice deep fold. Open up the material and move the ruler down to the third Sharpie mark and fold the cozy material up. Use the ruler so that your fold is straight and press the palm of your hand on the reflective material to get a nice deep fold. To make the accordion fold for the bottom of the cozy, first tear off a few pieces of Gorilla Tape and put them aside having them ready. 
Then fold up the cozy material at the second Sharpie mark, bringing the material up towards you. Then fold up the back side of the cozy, which was the third Sharpie mark, and the front side of the cozy, which was the first Sharpie mark. Grab a piece of Gorilla Tape and use it to crimp the bottom corner shut. Line up the tape and fold it over to the other side. Do the same thing on the other side. You can use some extra Gorilla Tape to reinforce the bottom corners of the cozy if needed. Now, you'll want to tape up both sides of the food cozy. Prep a couple longer pieces of Gorilla Tape, put half of the tape on one side, and then flip the cozy over to stick the tape to the other side. Repeat this on the other side of the cozy. Then you'll want to add Velcro to the top flap of the cozy. Start by lining up both sides of the Velcro and bring them together. Once attached, cut the Velcro into three small pieces. Pull one sticky backside off of the Velcro and stick it to the inside of the top flap of the cozy and press down. Do this two more times. Finally, pull the sticky backside off of the three Velcro pieces that are stuck on the inside top flap of the cozy. Fold the top flap over and press down with the palm of your hand. Slowly open up the top flap and voila, you will see the three Velcro pieces are on both sides. And now you have yourself a backpacking food cozy. If you want, you can use a few more pieces of Gorilla Tape like I did and attach the tape to the rest of the edges of the cozy so that they're all matching black or whatever color of tape you decide to use. Don't forget to customize your backpacking food cozy with a couple awesome stickers. And for those of you who are curious about how much this DIY backpacking food cozy weighs, according to my food scale, it weighs 2.6 ounces. Using a backpacking food cozy can help you save on fuel when cooking your backpacking meals and will also help your backpacking meals rehydrate faster and stay warmer when out on trail. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comments below. Make sure you check out the video description box below for links to all the materials and gear I use in this video. If you like this video and got some value out of it, Give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for new videos every week and hit the bell icon to get notified every time new videos are posted. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Happy trails and keep on trekking.